Hello there, Dave. How are you? It's about 18 months since we last talked. It is, Chris. Yeah, yeah. Nice to see you again. Um, 18 months ago, up on the colonnade. Yeah. Um, looking over the hoe. So, so what's happened since then? Well, if that was April time, then May the 20th, I finished the 365th picture outdoors on the on the coast path. Crikey. So you uh, did a lot of travelling last year. I did. Yeah. But then the crazy bit after that was doing 22 exhibitions. Yes. So after doing 365 pictures, I then exhibited. So where were the uh, exhibitions? Uh, on this bit of paper, sorry. <laughs> so as a rough idea, you've got Plymouth, Vitalik, Perranporth, West Lulworth, Lyme Regis, Frums, Novogissi, Braunton, Coverack, Hope Cove, Porth Leven, Port Perro, Linton, Dartmouth, Boscastle, Lamorna Cove, Portscatho, Mosel, Morganporth, Gordon Bennett, <laughs> Cowan, Pasto, St Ives. How long did it take you to organise all those? It was, it was just ringing them up, but of course each place had a different expectation and most of them were in village halls. Yes. But they were all really supportive. Um, a lot of the local shops and post offices really supportive of what I was doing. Uh -huh. And um, Radio Cornwall was particularly supportive. Yeah, and, and it's going to be turned it, into a book at some stage. I, I hope to turn it into a book. Um, and I wish I'd got every story behind every picture in my head properly, but you know, I'm sure if I go back over and reflect, I can remember most things. Yeah. Towards the end, from April on, was about the time that we'd have met, I started time-lapsing. Right. So when I was outdoors, I was making films yes. of um, each picture painting that I was doing. So this one here is a Mevagissi. Uh-huh. Um, and then placing those films onto YouTube with the painting being done. Yes. But this one here at Mevagissi was quite an important one because I wasn't expecting what happened to happen. Uh -huh. And what's your YouTube channel? Because I've tried to find it. And it's it's um, Dave Crocker Art, I think it is. But if you go onto YouTube and just type Dave Crocker, yes. it will come up there. Uh -huh. um, and one of the paintings will, will come up. It really extends the artwork, doesn't it? And brings, well, li brings life to it outside. Oh. The form. I wasn't expecting this to happen and, and it's, you know, I guess if you go outdoors for 365 days in a year you get lucky. Yes. And on this day I got lucky um, because it, this shows me painting in a really old fashioned way, the way they would have done 150 years ago. Um, yeah. And then what you see around it uh, captures the day in another completely different but complementary way. And this picture of the boy in red that's coming up. Uh -huh was a complete accident, the time lapse. Crumbs. Just takes a picture every 12 seconds and yeah. it's got, got no control over it. So these are completely random pictures. So what was the running time of this? So uh, how long did it take to time lapse the... Uh, the, 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 whole, the whole painting there, I think was about three hours, three and a quarter hours. It was taking a picture roughly every 12 seconds. Yeah. So I get home with hundreds of photographs. I download those onto the computer, put them into a video in, uh, program and that then makes the film. Now what was interesting with this was that as you saw there they started doing selfies. Yes. So once they start doing self pictures then you're taking a really old-fashioned way of painting and you're bringing it straight up to date with with people doing yeah. what they do because they now know the camera's going off every 12 seconds. It's amazing how, uh, how, how a camera changes people's personality. Everybody wants to be involved in it and, <laughs> and be seen. Yeah. Yes, it is, it is, it is. But I hope it doesn't change what I was trying to capture in, in too big a way. Yes. But it's still truthful. So are you hoping to go with your work? With all the, all the paintings and artwork that you've done? You, you've done limited edition prints with them. I have, and time lapses with all the films. Almost all of the originals have gone, although there's still some left. Yeah. Um, I'm now doing a Northern Soul project, yeah. um, which is capturing the dancers on the Northern Soul scene. So this one is done by watching a guy dancing up in Brig House near Leeds um, and taking numerous photographs, watching him. That's um, a mod from Plymouth. 
uh-huh. called Ian, um, and I've used the background um, well, of it, the Quadrophenia film. That was his own jacket, was it? It was, that's his own jacket, and that's what attracted to me. I said to him, I've just got a painted jacket one day. Uh-huh. And these two paintings were done of live soul singers, so I videotape them, and yeah. then I go through the frames of the video and work from that. That's uh-huh. Ronnie McNair from uh, Live at Archdale's up in Worcester this year, and um, Sal Linares in Orlando in 2011. Uh-huh. Are these other pieces yours as well? No. The, in the, the, we've reopened this and called it the Gallery on the Whole. That is um, Jeff Battersby, who had a studio here with me the year before. Yes. This uh, is a lady called Hilary, uh-huh. who walked into the studio um, on Friday uh, and had some work with her, and we've just uh, given her some space. It's a consortium of uh, different artists and different yeah, styles. Th- this is Yvonne Rayner, who um, set up Pinnacle Arts. Um, then you have Glyn White, who's uh, an artist out near Wembury, and does art. Glyn does art classes as well. Yes. And we have Paula Carnell. Tom Bird. Tom Bird, yeah. Yvonne again. The jewellery here is uh, by Cathy. Uh-huh. And then Emma Sprawson. Some lovely work. So that's Paula's again. And this last picture... This is a new one. ...is Sean Gilbert, who's just joined us. Sean yeah. walked into Pinnacle um, down at Sutton Harbour. Are you still, look, you look, still want more artists to join? We still, yeah. We've had... In conjunction with this. In the last three days, we've had four people come in. The the idea and philosophy of Pinnacle Art is that it's a showcase for artists to display their Yeah, so that's the the, the Gallery on the Hoe. Um, So this will be the Gallery on the Hoe and um, in Sutton Harbour as well. There's a much bigger... Is this more of a showcase for Pinnacle Art? It is, yeah. Uh It is. That's what we're looking to do. Yeah. So where's your art going to next? Well, with both of those, both the Northern Soul and the Coast Path, um, what, what I try and do is, is connect with people, so I will usually quite often do places that are out of the way, not many people would know West Lake Bay near Plymouth, is between Bobby Sand and Haybrook Bay, um, so I'm looking to connect with people and capture their favourite places. Yeah, um, it also, sh- and, um, people that can't get out or, 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 or are handicapped in any way, and we, uh, you know, it shows the world to them. Well, they can't get as well. I had a wonderful moment down at Re Legacy with that, where uh, a family brought their 90 year old grandfather in. Uh-huh. And he reminded him of all the places he couldn't go to any longer. Yeah. I really like the animation work as well. Yeah, but both of it, hopefully, is, is just trying to capture something. Um, this is a wedding that I did after, um, after the other works people had seen and you didn't tell people that, uh, what you were doing you the bride and groom hadn't got the bride and groom hadn't got a clue what was happening there was only one guest and the vicar that knew what i was actually doing there uh-huh. and this film was then played at the reception of the bride and groom and yeah. the present given by the guest was that painting yeah i was really impressive with this uh, this sequence when i saw it last week well thank done you, thank you thank you very much, thanks Chris. Very much thank Chris. thanks for the time thank you